Hey guys, welcome back to the big build. In this 15 part series, we are making this. Right, we're gonna extend the town this side now. It's about time. Yes, we're gonna, we'll make it into a big city, this place. So, no more crossings. We're, everything here stays within the motorway and the track. Now, as with everything else, we're just trying, trying to work out what goes where, really. Push that into the earth. I don't overlight sunken buildings, but out here, no one's going to notice. I only I'm only really that bothered when you can see it from the track or wherever you're going to be. And then I will try and hide it. Now we start off with these buildings. We do end up with a couple of these, but uh, I don't think they work there, really. They remind you more of a London estate rather than anything else. And this is meant to be a 60s new sort of builder place. More of these, maybe, but again, do I want them right next to the track? Probably not. I think we end up having two in the corner there. You know, I kind of know it's not right at the moment, so I'm, I'm sifting through looking for stuff. And this little supermarket, yeah, okay, we can have that. We can do some of that. More trucks, we're just parking them there for now. We'll, we'll move them to somewhere. Now, we're not, we keep these, but I think there's probably a bit too low poly for where they are. This, if you set those dotted uh, lines there, that's the shadow of the, what, of the track for the plane. So we're going to put cameras directly above these buildings. Um, slight bit of regret actually using these buildings, but uh, once we fill it out, it doesn't look too bad. And I keep the cameras away from um, them pretty much, really. Again, try these high-rise buildings. Uh, I don't like it. I think further out's better. So in the end, we, we go for the trusty houses. I think we put them to the bottom there as well. Well, at the top there, between the road and the motorway. So spin them all round to the right uh, place. They need gardens and all the kind of details. Are... Actually, later on, I, I put minimal details on these back ones initially, but I've beca again, because of the aircraft coming over, I end up having to detail across here a lot more. So very low poly hedge. Will it stay? Some of it will, some of it won't. Now, I was, I was really at this point thinking in terms of the track rather than the actual uh, the plane above. Which is silly, as we're really in the track for that, so... It's not as if you can see, you know, it's, it's fairly visible that where it's going to be. I think probably some of those houses need to be pushed forward to the road a little bit more. And there we go. Well, I imagine I use different... Uh, this is a, uh, a garage block. We use those in a few places. Again, it fills up spaces. I think I mentioned that in a previous episode that a lot of this really is about filling up spaces. A wonderful, wonderful new uh, concrete wall there. So while we're out, we might as well put the other one in. 
and then we come back to the uh, the houses again afterwards. Oops. Yeah, we move it there, lower it down from there, and then move it across. If you can't be bothered to actually lock this mines down, like a lot of the time you can see I can't, do the movement away, sort of move the spine away from something else, and then move it back. So move it away, lower it down to the position you need, then move it across, and then you'll stop with it. That's where it lives for now. That's where, it, that's where it's going to live forever then. So it actually, it matches the bottom one, which is good. So there you go. Back to the houses again. Let's get these fences in. All that to the motorway. And we do actually later on put some Arcove Barrier there as well. Now when we do that, we'll actually remember the name of it. Mm, probably not. So, paths. Yes, that's a good thing to always add in. Very simple way of actually adding detail. But just make sure we don't put the same path in everywhere. And the CL path is actually quite good, so... We'll probably, I think we had some garages and things in as well, and uh, as soon as I say that, we actually had the garages in. So <laughs> there you go. Probably too many of the same garage though. Looking at it now. Very large driveway, but yeah. Try to make sure it sort of looks lived in, and so it's had some different things on different ones, you know, like the washing and the greenhouses and things. And then later on we had all the bushes and trees and all the other paraphernalia all the way around it as well. So and I think we we'll probably paint each of these gardens differently eventually as well, so they all look different. And again, a painting simple thing like that, by painting different gardens in different colours, it just defines areas. And that's another one done. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And if you press that ding dong bell button, it even tells you when I put more stuff on. Yes, it does. See you next time. Bye bye.